How's it going everyone? Welcome to a first look at Beloved Rapture. This is a JRPG adventure inspired by the SNES, 16-bit soundtrack and art style, but no grinding, no random encounters, and a mid-length story that's designed to fill a niche that I feel like is pretty underrepresented. People always make RPGs that are like 100 hours long. I think this one's supposed to be like 15, 20, somewhere in that ballpark, and the demo we're playing playing today is the first one to two hours of the eventual completed game so we can kind of just set this as part one and and push forward through things classic mode auto heals and stat boosts which are a part of the story mode so you're kind of just a little bit a little bit easier i'll go with classic we'll try and really capture that snes feel a console I never had growing up. I occasionally played like Secret of Mana at friends' houses, things like that, but not a lot of exposure. Shall we look for the secret things somewhere in the world, on the blue shores of silence, or where the storm has passed? The faint signs remain, coins of time and water, debris, celestial ash, and the replaceable future, something like that. This is mostly being made by Aaron T. Crawford. He's like the lead designer on things, although I'm pretty sure there are other artists and programmers and things involved. He should be close now, hiding in the ruins. Aiden, do you have your nerve with you? I... I don't know if I can face him. Come to your senses, Aiden. Have you forgotten what must be done? Do you take your mother's death in vain? Don't you dare put that on me. He isn't responsible for what happened to mom. That was your own cowardice. My cowardice? Is that so? Well then, do not repeat the mistakes I made, Aiden. And listen, I know you loved him. Once. But I must face Isolde alone. You are not strong enough to bring her down. We can end this bloodshed. Tonight. Dad. Make sure he does not leave this city alive. May Goddess Lucina watch over you, Aiden. You shall not fail. It's a lot of pressure to put on him. <laughs> Just no failure, not an option, not gonna try and like give him a plan B or something. Support him in case it doesn't go quite perfectly. It's just, just weighing on me, you know? Who knows, so many, so many things could go wrong. Okay, I like the way that the credits are gonna continue to be incorporated as we start moving around things. Here rests Andero, only 45 years old? I wonder if any other of these will be important names to the story. Here rests Giznad. Actually, okay, I'm pretty sure Giznad is one of the developers, contributors to the game. So that's that's where that's coming from, which makes me think that Andero is probably, probably quite similar. That's a very funny, like, self-insert. The statue gazes blankly at you. So it's not a, a save point or anything like that. <laughs> a tiny little thing in my way. <laughs> Didn't notice it. Goddess Lucina blesses you. I, and so this is probably the good luck. that pr That's probably a save point. And now we're getting double blessed. Our dad telling us to be blessed. And then we go to the statue and receive the literal blessing. We're just overflowing. The cup runneth over with blessings. No one can stop us now. I'm certain nothing will bad, nothing bad will happen to Aiden in the, the time to come here. Johan. Huh? Oh, he's gone. It was a trick. He's very agile. Climbed that just like a mountain goat. A magical fantasy mountain goat. Enough of the mind games. Ooh, that art is cool. You sure I'm the one who's playing them, Aiden? You've gone mad, haven't you? Why would you come back here? 
I purged the capital of those swine, but I let you live. Are you not satisfied? Get a grip. I don't recognize you anymore. The man who I dragged from the brink of death. My confidant, my dearest friend. Where has that man gone, huh? Tell me. That was the man I loved, not this monster in front of me. Please, spare me all your hurt feelings and theatrics. It doesn't suit you. If this is what you want, so be it. Don't make me. I feel unprepared for a battle. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, no, I don't even know his name. He's casting spells on me and stuff. Uh, okay, attack. Pretty straightforward. Just try and start getting things in. I don't remember if this game has, like, action-based, turn-based combat where, like, if I, if I were just to sit here and do nothing. Yeah, you have to kind of, like, be on your toes and be doing things. You're, you're kind of both operating on, like, a timer. And so you have to be able to execute your skills and things quickly. So I think I should probably try and get a defend up, but I also think I'm probably not actually meant to win this specific battle. Uh, that defense is not going to help much against these spells anyways. I'll chuck a flame at him just to mess around, see how that looks. It's pretty weak. Just a tiny little, like, candle light lit underneath his feet. Not the strongest thing around. And Frost... I'll try, try and bust out another skill. I don't think I'm meant to win. Enough. Run back to your cowardly father, Aiden. N only I'm allowed to call him a coward. You aren't allowed. Pity. You could have had everything, Aiden. Now you're dead. Sucks. Sucks that it went that way. Too bad, really. One year earlier. So I don't even know if he, I, I doubt, I doubt he died. That felt like a cliffhanger. Probably coming back to all of that at some point. I really, really do love the artwork in this game and the decision from the developers to abandon the like square aspect ratio and make it properly widescreen. You want to be able to like admire all the artwork. I understand the dedication to the era that this game is meant to harken back to. But I think you can tie in some kind of modern influences by having some of that. Zack. You. Up this early? Am I seeing things? Oh, that music is also wonderful. It reminds me of Lord of the Rings in some, like, far-off way. Just its general fantasiness. Back from your trip already. I could hardly sleep last night. You remember what tomorrow is, don't you? Yeah. Of course I do. My little Johan. A man at last. You don't seem to believe that. Honestly, I think my mother's the more excited one. She's invited all her dumb friends to watch the ceremony tomorrow. Just why? Mother's so embarrassing. Ah, oh, are we getting too much attention? Want me to find you some birthday cake, little guy? Oh, shut it. Well, you're the golden boy, aren't you? Don't whine. Revel in it. Eat it up. That's what I'd do. If the village wants to dance around some silly ritual, then let them. I guess. Look, I've got to take care of something, but I'll be up at the spot afterward. You know, the spot. Why don't you meet me there? There's something I want to tell you. No problem? Sure. Um, whatever you say, boss. B boss? <laughs> I could see him doing some awkward finger guns there <laughs> after trying to make boss work. I got you a birthday gift, by the way. I'll hand it over. You're just gonna walk away after that tease? Chapter 1. The Ascendant Sun. Use the shift to toggle between walking and running. Yeah, okay. I'm actually playing with controller. There is controller support, so whatever that 
would be for this game, I don't entirely know. There we go, simple as that. Now I can I can jog around. We're in the Veretta Highlands, which just make me think of Vegeta, and we start off at level six. Oh, I guess I should familiarize myself with the surroundings. Please don't throw anything over the ledge. Well, I probably am only starting with like a couple items, and yeah, I'd rather not waste them myself, so I, I plan to hang on to that. Select a guide and choose the map to see your location at any time. Alternatively, use any number key to open it. Oh, okay, that's like a, a much more detailed map than I thought it would be. That's incredibly helpful. I actually like the distinct art style that's attached to the map instead. Like, it's detailed but minimalist at the same time. It fits, but it's also separate. Like, I think that's really well done. So. We know where we are, and we basically know that we just need to head north. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of winding and weaving along the way. Keep an eye out for, like, oh, there's some coinage. <laughs> I'm guessing the earliest ones are going to be the easiest ones to find. Golden coins are the currency of beloved Rapture. You didn't want to call them, like, Rapchillions or anything? I don't know. I feel like games usually try to, like, tie in. It can't just be gold. I, I kind of appreciate when it's kept simple. <laughs> Find them scattered across the many landscapes. And, you know, probably also, like, buy and sell goods <laughs> to acquire them. They're not exclusively littered around the ground, I wouldn't think. A statue of the goddess Lucina. Her grace heals any mortal who touches the beloved stone. I beloved stones, I beloved raptures. There's a lot of things I beloved. And you recover your stats, you've acquired Goddess Tear, which I have no clue what that'll be for. Fully heals the party's MP, HP, and satisfaction. So you get one, like if I were to use this again, I'm guessing I can't use it again. So I kind of like that. You get one immediate instantaneous heal and an item to like bail you out if things go incredibly poorly and then you can always come back to replenish. I assume you'll always be able to replenish that, but it just bails you out in case you make a critical mistake without needing to go back to a save point. So I, I actually really like that. Elysia Grove. I'm still, I actually am trying to figure out how to bring up the map. Surely there's a hotkey for that attached to the controller. You can save at any time. So the, the Blessing statue is literally just there to replenish things. Um, I, the, the map does not seem to be properly mapped to the controller. This is a demo. That'll get fixed, I'm sure. Phase House. I'll go deal with that in a minute. Stones can be pushed using Confirm Key. Okay, and many items can be picked up in the field. Mushrooms, herbs, and other medicinal plants. They may just come in handy after a harsh battle. So let me scoop up some lavender. Love the scent of it. Don't know exactly what purpose it'll have in these lands. All right, let me come back to here. There's too many things to explore being introduced all at once. I Like, it's not, like, overwhelming. I just feel kind of torn and, like, I gotta, I gotta see it all. And you just kind of start bouncing around. But that's the fun part of a game like this. Johan. How have you been holding up? Oh, pretty good, Faye. Nice to see ya. I've got a lot on my mind, but can't complain. Don't let old Amelia worry you. These are your golden years. Your youth. Uh, thanks. <laughs> I'm only getting older. One step closer to death. But yeah, I, I wasn't worried about it until you brought it up. You've acquired Antidote. I guess it would be good to have a, a sense of what these things do before a battle. Potion. It's percent based, not number based. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess... I guess it's always the same amount effective, no matter how much health you have, if that makes sense. The harder the game gets, the more damage things do, the more health you have, but it's always, like, proportional. So I think that's a good way to do it. And the high potion, 70%. Lavender recovers MP and antidote heals poison. Can't wait to have to deal with that. Truly, though, poison things I feel like freak me out and often lead to horrible, horrible deaths at inconvenient times. 
I got weirdly stuck heading out of that room, but it worked the second time. This is probably just to teach me I can hop off a cliff, but only those at a straight angle. So that one, easy, simple. Oh, could I maybe even jump down something like that? Too, too narrow, probably. It probably needs like a little bit of a wider face. And also the game just doesn't want you to go to certain areas. So that also is totally fair. Hopping across is automatic. You've acquired the ether. I remember playing Golden Sun and getting stuck for like four hours one day because I didn't know that hopping across gaps existed and there was one narrow stream that cut me off from the next area and I spent so long hunting for another way around and it didn't exist. So I learned that lesson decades ago and we found a ruby. First little like cave to explore. I'm guessing this will just be like a total side thing. Wild mushroom. Uh, I keep missing it. There we go. <laughs> a little bit of coinage. I, I'm, I'm getting a little used to the controls. I feel like they're quite uh, sensitive. So I keep kind of accidentally going the other way. Maybe there needs to be a larger or smaller dead zone in the controller. I don't remember entirely how that would need to work in order for that to, to feel comfortable. Maybe maybe they could make it an adjustable setting. But yeah, if you see me kind of doing like, uh, like rapid wiggling around and missing what is very obviously the way I need to go, that's me, I'm kind of switching between the D-pad and the joystick, trying to get a feel for which one I feel like functions a little bit more consistently. The controls aren't like limiting or broken. It's just getting used to it. Throw golden, uh, five gold. I don't really want to throw any, but I, I do want to see if there's anything to it. Can I climb down the well? No, I, I think I'll keep what I have left. That already felt like an enormous waste of money. Sunk cost fallacy and whatnot. Maybe, maybe I don't chuck my life savings into a well. Considering the odds of any return. Verita, and I think I, I'll I'll take a look over at the grove and see if there's anything. If there was nothing to do here, it would probably cut me off from accessing it. So I feel like it'll be worth taking a quick side venture. Maybe load up on a couple more like key items here. Get to know the world a little better and keep an eye out for little secrets and things. I feel like there's a fair amount of that to be done in this game to, to fully load up, take out some of the stress in battles. Yep, that was, it was me just getting a little bit of uh, exercise in up and down the ladder. These cliffs, I tell ya. A power tonic. That sounds permanent, if I had to guess. I've also found all these other things. Life tonic heals KO for one ally, and they'll come back with 25%. Recovers HP. Seven, I have seven shrooms already. <laughs> uh, the power tonic raises attack and defense for three turns, not permanent. Hey, but Ruby permanently boosts HP, so I will give that to Johan and just give him a nice little, like, bonus. Little boost. Nice and early on. I haven't even needed a battle and I'm already stronger than ever. Try and stop me, Goku. I shouldn't wander too far from home. Alright, there are limits to the, the lengths you can explore before progressing the story properly. I'll meet Zack in a minute. I'm busy running around in the bush and collecting mushrooms. I'm sure he'll understand when I meet up with him and explain later and tell him that I decided to wander every conceivable corner of the forest before coming to see him. I'm sure he won't take offense to that. He'll, he'll understand. Just an easily distractible little youth. Little Johan is. I guess we... I. 
still are in the highlands. The summit. Okay, now now we're actually like in town though, so we can probably like stop and, and chat with some people, meet some characters. Like this child who's blocking my way, who I can't talk to. There we go. Phil, Johan, is it true? You're leaving the village? Honestly, first I've heard of it. Where'd you hear that? Well, Mama told me you've become a man, and the boys here become squires, right? Don't blame her. She likes to tell stories. I do blame her. That gossip, rumor milling, floozy. Benny, I was supposed to buy some supplies to help bro fix the roof, but uh, I forgot. How can anyone work manual labor on such a beautiful day? It truly is a beautiful day, and you're ruining it. Let me, let me sneak past. Let me at the ladder. First puzzle, first puzzle of the game. The general store. Well, I did hang on to some of my money. It didn't all end up at the bottom of a well, so maybe I can buy anything at all. Kim, what kind of world are we living in? The market's been sold out for days. Mm. What are you looking for? What's causing the shortage? It's just terrible. My husband told me that some of the trade routes from Alexandria haven't been coming through lately. Perhaps it'll force our farmers to stop relying on handouts of the king. Trouble in what I assume isn't paradise. Just kind of a nice area and having a nice day. It's probably got its problems. Need to stock up, darling? Well, you let me know what you got, Evelyn. Potion, ether, life tonic, antidote, and farming gloves. I'm not going to go on any adventures. It will now, from this point on, be a farming sim. <laughs> Thick gloves, often worn by farmers and peasants. So, better for attack and for defense, magic and speed go down. You know, it's uh, way more than I can afford, but just kind of interesting to inspect and know that it's there. We're a bit short from our usual supply. Something must have happened with the trade routes. Oh yeah, I didn't, uh branch off the dialogue anymore. You do look like a lover of the outdoors. How about I make it worth your while? Oh, okay, I'm glad I talked twice. I need lavender for my husband's favorite tea. Will you bring me some, dear? I'll spare some gold for your efforts. Gather one lavender. Well, that's a very reasonable request. I, I guess I don't need to hoard it all to myself. Whoa, you brought it. Hooray for you, boy. Yay! <laughs> Sell one for 200 gold. Ah, oh, damn, that's worth it. Wonderful. Now we can start to relax. Except for the stress of the fact that you just emptied out their bank account to buy him one leaf flower for some tea. Big spender. Thanks again for the help, my boy. Hmm, I feel like there was like another dialogue option I'm missing, but it was uh, probably not that important. No! <laughs> I couldn't quite make it past. Mary, Johan, Hun, how is my dear Amelia holding up? That must be our mom. She's great. How should I know? Was that your mom, man? Uh, she's fine. We don't talk much these days. Ah, oh, sweetheart, it's a tough age, isn't it? My son felt angsty before he joined the guild. She told you I was joining? Oh, the way those conversations end is so sudden. People just, like, walk away from you. And I'm, like, waiting for them to fill in a little bit more details. And they're just, they're gone. So I, I guess that's all you wanted to talk about. What an abrupt end to the convo. I'm trying to figure out how to lace my way around. There we go. I want to talk to the fisherman. Kuno, you know, I could never get my brother much into fishing. He didn't have the patience for it. Would you cast a lure with me someday, Johan? I know the perfect spot out in the woodlands. Can you hook me up with a fishing rod, though? Because, like, right now I got nothing. I, I could harpoon a sword at the, at the water, but I don't think that's going to work out very well. 
I'm I'm kind of trying to look ahead to figure out how to get to. I think I I think I need to make it up top. All right, I'm I'm going unbelievably out of my way for what appears to be a singular coin. Ah, uh, even that's more complex than I thought it would be. All right, I'll I'll find my way there eventually, I guess. The door is locked, and there's the guy finishing his roof. Is there a way up there? I feel very uh, motivated and encouraged to like explore this game further. <laughs> yeah, this is the guy who just whiffled on on buying any supplies. Well, maybe the supplies would have been out uh, in shortage anyways, so he could just he could just claim that, couldn't he? Tavern is closed. Try back later. Dang, can't go fishing. Can't get obliterated drunk. What even is there to do in this game? I boy, I I tell ya, I tell ya, what? Instead, I'll just keep just keep making my way along. I'm sure, there's like a thousand other things I could be doing, like stealing directly from my neighbors' homes, coins and ethers, all for Johan. It's his birthday, so he's allowed to. Probably, it's it's probably in the town charter somewhere. Small key on the ground. Take it. Found a silver key. Okay, there were were not very many locked things, too. So I, I basically have to check them both now, don't I? Sue? Wow, Zer! You can see the dragons from all the way up here. I didn't realize how high up we were. This is ridiculous. Dangerous as hell, little girl. Down in the valley, look. Dragon, huh? How many heads did it have? Ten? Oh, quit teasing. Only one? Look for yourself. I know what I saw. Little Sue. So eager. I don't think you believe me. <laughs> is it that? Is that the dragon? Is this dragon flying by right there? Oh, it's a pretty feathered dragon. It's not tiny. It's really far away. Mean. I am purposely being mean to this girl. I'm an adult now. And I need to make sure she's put in her place. That one, I don't know why I can't jump down. I, I would like to. Would have been much faster. Tavern closed. All right, can't break in. If you find the key, it's not breaking in though, right? You've just, you've granted access. Been granted access by the great almighty. And, oh, the silver key fits in this lock. Seems to fit, yes. I don't know if this will be a bonus or if this will be necessary. A ruby. I'll hang on to this one. Sooner or later, other people will join my party and maybe they'll be really low on health. This is locked as well. And so now, now, I'm, now I'm totally stuck. Looks like they're a history lover. A large anthology book, Rise of the Third Power, sits on top of Legend of Derisitsu Hollow. I don't think I can actually read them. No, that's fine. I don't... <laughs> Currently at this stage in the game, I would rather just keep pushing forward, exploring. Murdering this trollish little boy who's blocking my way across the bridge. Oh god, I gotta run in front of her before she blocks my way too. Everyone wants to stop me from using bridges. Just let me live my life, everyone. Why must you stop me from achieving such such joy? Recovered MP and HP and get a tier? So now I should have two? I wonder. I wonder if I can go back to the other one and use it. Like, use it again and, and get another tier. I, I have no way of knowing how that's going to layer together. I've, I've had no actual combat. Probably I could have encountered it within 10 minutes or whatever, but I'm really stopping and, and digging around and things. If they're going to take the time to map out all this extra stuff for me to explore and see, then yeah, I want to take the time to see it all. Well, <laughs> sure wasn't much in that, assuming I, I saw everything I could have. Get out of the way, you stupid little bush. Ruining my fun. Okay. A sequence of things to be done here. New ruby, more health. 
more gold, and an ether. Stockpiled. And here, can I jump down this humongous cliff? Oh, I can't climb up it, so it doesn't at all work how I thought it would. Mm. Oh! Okay. Didn't expect that little zigzag to work the way it did. Well, perfect. All right. It's worth it to kind of test things out then. Push the limits a little here and there. Oh, Zach. I've made it up to you, my friend. Okay, so all that light exploring didn't take that long. I thought I was like halfway up to him at best. Hey, Zach. Took your time getting here, huh? Are you soaking up all the birthday wishes? <laughs> Wouldn't you? Fair. So, you're man enough to face the trial now, huh? How does it feel? Your mom must be proud. Uh, pretty soon, they'll have you standing guard or working the farms like a dog. Don't worry, I already got a line on some gloves. Makes me sick. What's gotten into you? Come on. I know you aren't fantasizing about lazing around here another summer. You're old enough now. You can walk away from it if you want. I've thought about it. I'm happy here. It's lots of free gold just everywhere. <laughs> it's one reason to stick around. No money worries whatsoever. Wow, she's really got you under her thumb, huh? Where's the, the verve, the vigor? Anyhow, I have a little gift for you, birthday boy. Wait, seriously? Received Amateratsu. Amateratsu? A sword. Where the hell did you get this? It was part of my father's stash. Did I ever tell you? He was a collector. A mercenary. Well, gosh. He was so many things. I think it suits you. A bit too large and heavy for my tastes. Zack. You'll need it for the trial, won't you? So, enjoy it, birthday boy. No need to thank me. Let's go for a hike. We can test it out in the forest and see how rusty you are. Rusty? This blade was important to my dad. It was named after the great Kami, the spirit sun, the sun spirit, the sun spirit. <laughs> Did your father believe in that stuff? You know, I think men can believe just about anything. I'll wait for you at Alicia Grove, near the forest entrance at the small bridge. Ah, been there. Been there somewhere between one and a hundred times, I think. Ah, uh, quick autosave. The game does autosave here and there when you have, like, important encounters and, like, story milestones. I actually really do appreciate that. A detoxifier. That is different than the thing that gets rid of poison. Cures all status effects, <laughs> excluding KO. If you're dead... It's not gonna, not gonna help you out with that one. That's a, a stretch too far. I feel like my my run keeps be, being turned off. Turned off. I'm guessing it's by like specific story encounters, like being switched to a walk while I follow Zach around, like while he's talking, that sort of thing. To my first and greatest lover, may you guide us from afar, Amelia. Oh man. I was going to say, that's really messed up to put a grave marker next to your house, like that next to your house. I don't want to see mom right now. But, like, it's a marker for our dad. So now I feel bad for being judgmental about it. Let's just go hang out with Zach. Sunnier, nicer times. Hey, you done looking at the dragons? See? Didn't I tell you? The creature is out there in the valley. We still looking at, at this uh, dove here? This kid's not buying it. I can't see it, you liar. <laughs> I, I kind of like that you can like check back in on these kids. <gasps> a chicken! Okay, I don't, I, I, I appear to be able to chase it around, but I don't appear to be able to hack it into a bits to create like a Zelda level catastrophe of being swarmed 
by bloodthirsty chickens. That's not quite in the cards. I think it was just the tiniest bit south and off to the west. Basically as soon as I can. You gonna complain that I kept you waiting this time, Zach? I put a hustle in it. Uh, hey, I wasn't sure you'd come. What's that supposed to mean? Aren't we like best friends? You'd think I would just leave you hanging? Well, I know how flaky you are. Damn, what a bad impression to be made of yourself. But look, I forgot to tell you, Johan. Amat Rasu. I'm trying to, I'm trying, now that it's not going to go away like quickly. Amaterasu. Amaterasu is no ordinary sword. It's infused with ethril, like all weapons of the kami. Your own energy blends with the sword. The more you use it, the more powerful it becomes. Ooh, so instead of like slowly replacing my sword over the course of like dagger, scimitar, katana, bastard sword, like upgrading my way to like higher, bigger, better swords, I just literally level up this main one. That's kind of cool. I wonder if that's how all gear works. The great masters of the past, I guess probably not because they're saying this one's like blended with energy, whereas like my green tunic or whatever is probably just a piece of cloth. The great masters of the past used these weapons to serve the king. You really believe that? Well, I believe what my father told me. Zack, um, why gift it to me? I'm not much of a fighter. You will be. Meet with me at the end of the ridge. Are you just gonna leave me hanging? Am I gonna have to like fight my way to you? Come on, give me a little more instruction. Yikes. <laughs> All ethereal weapons have special uses. The the rate as at which this game is tutorializing things is fantastic. Go run around, pick up some things, talk to people. Here's a weapon, here's how it works. Like it's so spaced out. And I'm I'm a big fan of that. Use attack to recover a little bit of MP, so your magic, and use defend to recover a little bit of HP. So you gotta make sure you're cycling in attacks and defends if you wanna like actually win an, an encounter. Using the defend command will restore HP only once until after another action is performed, so you can't spam defend. And I honestly don't know if it blocks anything, it might just be a recovery tool. A Matarasu holds lightning magic, but can absorb other elements and properties. Oh, like over time, it'll it'll become stronger and do things other than just lightning. Okay, I'm into it. Wait up, buddy. Oh. Look at those evil red eyes and that evil mullet. So evil. <laughs> It looked a lot more like a mullet there than it did in the, like, one year in the future scene. As far as I can remember when seeing his portrait. The Alicia Woodlands. Wildlife unregulated beyond this point. Watch out, you're gonna have to kill anything that you run across. I think I just picked up some gold. It looked like there was something down there. So, no random encounters. There are literally things walking around out here that you have to fight against. I have a slime and a snake to kill. And you can see in the bottom left there, not entirely the left, closer to like under my MP, that the timer is like running its way through and that's as often as I'm allowed to attack. So once I've attacked, it starts filling up again. There we go, I can execute my next attack. If I'm like too slow doing it, then it pauses things while the, the other enemies have their chance. Like there, they were able to use that against me. Uh, I want to defend. Oh, the defend is like buried way at the bottom there. Probably if I hit up, it would take me straight to it. So now I'm supposed to attack again. My my MP is all juiced up. I have the Relica ability, Ascendant Slash. I should just get used to using that. Probably a, a big, big damage dealer. Very minimal MP, actually. Experience gained, found gold, Fang obtained, Magic Jelly obtained. So I, I think I'm probably, like, just overflowing with 
with things all of a sudden? A long tooth originating from a predator. And a slime secretion with unknown effects. I, I don't know if I'll use those to, like, craft potions? Something like that, perhaps? I actually don't know how those things will play into the eventual game. That is not a viable way through, so probably there's, like, a secret way through? Oh, I need to go around and hop down the cliffs. But that would only make sense if I could get up onto the cliffs. Hmm. I'm just kind of guessing and checking walls here. Maybe I am meant to... Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can push rocks. <laughs> really overcomplicating that one for myself. I'll get in one more fight before I even consider using, like, potions or anything. Because instead, what I'll try to do is defend immediately here. Oh, I got a tougher snake to deal with. Oh, see, the Relica doesn't even show up as an option. This is one thing that I would immediately suggest to the developers, is that using defend can be accessed by hitting up when you're hovering over attack. And is there anything below that? There's items. Mm. Yeah, see, I just, I wonder if there's a more effective way if that's, I, I maybe, maybe it's already organized in a way that it's meant to be laid out. Uh, in a way that prioritizes the things you will be using most often. It could already be set up that way. Oh, I just now realized how hard my ass is getting kicked. I better slip a defend in there. Please live. I did not realize how much damage that guy was doing. Um, now I have, I, I, oh god, I don't have the MP for it. All right, attacking will reload my MP, uh, but he's nearly gonna kill me here. Uh, I have to throw down a defend, I have to. This is kind of cool. I'm already getting into the cadence of the battles. I'm, I'm getting a sense of, like, how I need to be ordering things to stay alive. Alright, chuck a bolt down, will ya? I don't know when... How many... How I fill up the Relica. It's two out of three right now. I, I, I don't know. Uh, that was clearly more than, like, three cycles worth of turns. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not confident in that. Whew! That got way more tense than I thought it would. Let's, uh, let's heal up a little bit. Just gobble shrooms. Like a shroom goblin. <laughs> a gobble goblin. Gobble gobble turkey. Thanksgiving dinner. Winner winner. I may have just lost my mind a little. It's hard to say. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll get a, I'll get a defend mixed in here as quick as I can. And maybe at some point I'll reach a level of comfort while <laughs> layering together what I'm doing in this game to not feel the need to dictate every action that I <laughs> that I undertake. Oh, this speedy snake. Oh, see there. Oh, is it my attacks or something? I think your relica stays charged. Like it was already at two out of three. And so I'm better off, I think, defending, trying to just basically stay alive, and just and just try and straight kill. It. Oh, I'm poisoned! That's annoying. That's a very annoying thing that you've done, Snake. Oh, it looks like it went away. Nope, it's still there. <laughs> it's like blinking in and out. Okay, I guess I better heal that up before that becomes a major issue. It'll take me a little bit, probably, to get used to. Maybe it did go away. Maybe it did go away at the end of that battle. Yeah, just get used to the flow of, of things a little bit. I kind of forgot where I was going with that sentence, I'll be totally honest. <laughs> Felt obligated to complete it. Veritas River. Hmm. I wish I hadn't just spent some healing items. Alright, what I will do instead is I'll go pick a fight with someone. Unless it's leaving me that to heal up because a more difficult fight is like literally about to happen. Crap, that could be very possible. I'm only 40 shy, my MP's a little shot though. Hmm. I just, if it's like a snake or something, I'd rather fight it as uh, stupid slime. Maybe if you've run past all the enemies, here's a point in the game where it's like, you have to fight now and again, like, Get on board, make it happen. Oh, crap, all right. Well, if he's gonna start off with something like that. Oh, my Relica is gone. 
I did not keep it. Crap. All right, maybe I should have uh, been using that right away then. And maybe I should be focus firing the weaker one of these, the one I think is the weaker one, the blue one. I'm just gonna see if I can wipe out. Okay, one down. I'm in a way better position here. <laughs> yeah, the Relica will take some getting used to. I think the burn is still doing damage, which I'm not stoked about. It's it's so frustrating when they manage to sneak in a like an attack in when you're like Ugh, that close away from using a defend. It doesn't really even matter at this like stage in the game because I can defend and heal more than like he's doing 50 damage, I'm healing 100. So I'm actually coming out of ahead by cycling. But at some point, I'm going to be in like some high octane boss battle and it's going to come down to one like panicked moment where I try to click something and, and, and end up getting there a half second too late and the killing blow gets delivered. Like, it's a totally different cycle of combat than something like Final Fantasy that literally just gives you the time to stop and plan. And I'm not overly used to it, so I'm just I'm just gonna have to have to get accustomed to it. I don't know if specifically using relicas levels up the sword or just using it in general. See, it just said experience gained in like a very broad sense. So if I were to look at my equipment, an old sword alleged to have magic origins. I can't really inspect it any more thoroughly than that and see what kind of like. Uh, level it is or anything <laughs> You can't unequip your coat can't just strip down naked simple white necklace made of, made of white shells What a basic boy Johan is walking around with his puka shells <laughs> What a what a statement piece to his his overall fashion Let me just blow it up see that that's what I was waiting for I kind of assumed a battle was coming I could then purposely wait so I could save, recover, and, and gain the tier at a point when I needed it post-battle. And then I wouldn't feel like I wasted the healing items that I had used just a moment prior. <laughs> oh, you're getting bashed to bits, Snake. Just you wait. Uh, it's not very good bashing. That's more damage than I thought it would do, so you know what, I'm, I'm just immediately gonna start the healing and attacking cycle. Mm, not all of his attacks are going to be that strong. And he's faster than me, so like he's going to keep getting attacks in quickly. So it'll be in my best interest to, to properly alternate attacking and defending. Mm. And I, I've already juiced it up so I can go for the finishing blow. I don't understand how I'm, how I'm filling my Relica. But I don't think it can miss. So it's a nice, satisfying finisher. Did not get a lot of experience for that. That I would like to know, actually. Uh, status, maybe? Johan Ambrosia. Level 7. Oh, the Relica level is 1. Your weapon, I don't know if that'll ever change. Age 18. Experience, 105. So I only need 7 more. Okay, and all that stuff, all the information I would want, very readily available. This looks like it's set up in a way where you could very easily push it and nope, nope. I thought I would risk blocking my path and not be able to get up at that. Not, not the case at all. Oh shit. That was kind of hardcore. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm not at all feeling prepared to fight a pack of wolves. It's to a pack it might be, but goddamn, that feels pretty intense and alpha. They're not even lame beta wolves <laughs> with bad opinions about She-Hulk. These are the alphas, the real deal. Oh, nice. I, like, shocked it or something. Wow, he's really having a bad time, <laughs> isn't he? I'm not, I, I don't even feel guilty about it, though. Sorry, Wolfo. Wolfie. Wolf. I O U. <laughs> Get all the vowels in there. Okay, I can... 
there's like a weird thing with the cadence of the battle where it's almost easy to lose track. Like you're planning moves ahead and did I heal last or did I defend last? And you can just kind of look at your, whoop, my finger was off there. Damn, I missed my attack window. Uh, you can like look at the way the stance Johan ha has and kind of know which one you did most recently. All right. I don't think I actually want to use the Relica because this guy should be really close to dead. And then I would be spending MP that I'd probably rather save up for like a future battle. Then I can bust out some skills like right away and get a leg up in the next battle. I've leveled up, so do I heal when I level up? Oh god, okay. Whew, it takes a second for them to fade away and they kept walking towards me and I, I thought I was screwed. Oh, you don't heal. Okay, I think I have to spend... I have three high potions, so you know what? I, I can use one of them there. That felt like a lot. A lot to have to spend. But I think... I just need to make sure I'm well protected for what's to come. <laughs> what I assume will be worse to come. Three wolves next time. Oh, hell yeah, I better go buy some gloves. Obviously, I'll wait to do that. I'm not running all the way back to town for just that. Ooh, I have maybe not done a great job of picking things. The bear? I think this is like a... This bear's like bleeding and messed up and everything. This is like a man-killing bear. This is not the kind of bear you want to run into in the woods. Maybe you don't want to run into any. But I feel especially like this one is, is one that concerns me. <laughs> I... I'm, I'm gonna go in a, a deep panic here of, of trying to throw down as much as I can. Oh my god. It's kind of hardcore. It's pretty awesome actually, but it also is scaring the heck out of me. I don't know if defending spends your like turn stuff. See, I'm, I'm gonna defend before using a Relica. It still, it still exhausts my thing. I think it just is filling up so quickly because it's a one-on-one -on -one battle. And so rather than actually timing it out and make you fully wait, it like speeds through the overlap where you're both waiting for it to refill and no one has an action ready yet. I think, I think that's what's happening. And if it is, it's a really simple, really clever trick to make sure that the, the pace of the battles stays like hi <laughs> are you actually dead or did you just you know fake flash red and go hide in the bushes because you knew you were beat man the back to back of like ooh, some slimes ooh, a couple little slithery snakes oh my god some wolves holy fuck a bear <laughs> like that was very sudden proceed with caution near the cliffside i i gotta tell you i'm not all that worried about a cliffside i just killed a fucking bear you recovered, MPHP. Mm, that one just looked a little different. It's just a different color, I guess, to match the surroundings a little more closely. Oh, Zach, my boy. Buddy of mine. Damn, you could have helped me back there. Nah. <laughs> just blows you off that hard. Nope. <laughs> Seems like you're pretty good with that sword. Maybe it's taken a liking to you. They actually have that much personality? Ooh, I like the double dagger action. Well, let's see how good. This will be entertaining. Hey, come on, man. You know I can't beat you, Zack. Don't focus on winning. Just try landing three attacks in a row. You think you can do that? As the sword builds energy, you can unleash Relica, one of your most powerful skills. And if I win? How about if I, how about I finally buy you a drink? Well, hopefully you do that anyways, but sure. I'll put my sword whose name I can't pronounce to the test. Deal. Oh, it was going to mess with me if I remained on the left side. Okay, yeah, it, it, it just needed a minute to switch. Land three blows and your sword will draw energy to unlock new skills. Oh, so it doesn't count the misses. Afterward, use Relica for a powerful finishing blow. Also, be sure to defend at strategic moments to recover HP. You only heal HP when defend is first triggered. The tri triggered, it's missing an E there. Use another action to reset the healing effect. Zach uses Tri Slash. Oh, I was gonna say, 
it's only two. Doesn't know how to count. But no, his last one was a little bit, a little bit of a big sweep there. Zack attacks. <laughs> I hope he just titles all of his moves the Zack attack. They just, they all just get that cool name. Well, I landed three attacks pretty quickly and easily. I like the additional animation and everything to really sell that you've powered that up. Now, Johan, use your Relica ability. Don't tell me how to live my life. I'm a man now. Didn't we already establish that fully? I'll use a Relica because I want to, not because you said so. I just chop your friend straight in half, right from soup to nuts, as they say. <laughs> Dead. Nice work! Now once more. Oh, I don't want to once more. I've already shown you how dope I am. Is that not enough? Ever you gotta pump out some attacks here specifically so I can get more defense in. It's kind of like a funny system going in there where what I actually want and need to be doing. Oh, you can do this. Come on. Pity. Pitying me? I could have lived. I was in the zone, Zack. Ruining it. Z for zone, not for Zack. I'm gonna relica you so good. You're gonna wish that I hadn't. <laughs> Let's finish this. Use your relic again, man. Just let me. I'm, I'm already on it. I'm like already busting it out. Just give me a second. Just give me a second. Are you still gonna keep attacking? I thought we were done with all this. Nice job. You just wanted to get. Just wanted to have the final blow, hey? Last word. Slayed the enemy. I don't think I killed anyone. I sure didn't mean to. I hope I didn't. Still leveled up though, which is nice. Whoa. How the hell did I do that? You've come a long way since the old days. I'm proud of you. Should I be thanking you? I've wanted to tell you, Johan. I I don't know how to say this. What is it? I've decided to leave the village. Oh, come on. You've said that for years. No, I... I mean it. I've decided on Alexandria. There's more work for me there. And what type of work is that? I'll join the guard, a guild, or anything. I've been ready for a long time. What do you think is the alternative? Rotting away in this little farming town? Every breath here feels like wasted air. It's very dramatic. Perhaps I'll even find my father there. I've waited so long, Johan, so that you might come with me. Will you join me? I... I can't. You know I can't. Nonsense! You're too good for this place! He's getting a little aggressive there. What's the problem exactly? This could change your life, you know? For the better. Do you think you're better off out there? With all the wars? Is that what you want? Wars? You've been fed lies. I've seen it myself, Johan. The far-off towers. The castle, the rolling seas. All of it. It's beyond beautiful. If you don't forge your own life plan, you'll become someone else's. And can you guess what they have planned? Farming? My, my number one guess. Trying to sneak past me, huh? Didn't I tell you to come help prepare for your ceremony? Eh, you know, just at the ridge with Zack. What? You were all the way out there? Get over here. 
<laughs> just slowly back in your way up. No worries. I just needed some air today. You will not wander so far outside the village without telling me. Understood? It's very overprotective. Yeah. Sheesh, give it a rest. You know, Mom, um, I'm turning 18, not 10. You can relax. Forget it. Listen, we have a lot of guests coming. You don't mind helping your poor old mother finish this recipe, right? Old mother? You look like you're 29. I don't know. Whatever you need, mother dear. This party is for you. Earn some gratitude. Oh my god, I thought she was going to slap him or something. It's a much healthier relationship than that, just giving him money. You need two ginger, two goat's cheese, three carrots, and one red wine. Don't spend it on something else. Okay, just a reminder of what it is I'm heading out to buy. Please don't keep me waiting, Johan. This meal won't prep itself. It really... I thought we were having like a flashback or something. It really feels like mine and Zach's conversation was left just fully unresolved. <laughs> we'll try and try and pick that one back up at a later date, I suppose. Well, being transitioned to kind of the next stage of this game and a new puzzle and things like that is probably a great place to leave things off. I feel like I'm aiming for a ballpark of hour long episodes. And, you know, as soon as the game fully releases, I can pick it right off from where the demo leaves off. During the next fest that's running right now for the next week only, you also can have access to this demo. Want to play it for yourself, mess around with things, try, try it out, explore more thoroughly, whatever it is you want to do. I'll have a link down below. You can wishlist it as well. Keep an eye out. Early 2023 is the intended release. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.